It feels like every week another tragedy of gun violence hits the headlines. In light of recent mass shootings in California and an uptick in gun related crimes in Minnesota, there's urgency to improve public safety. Democrats believe that part of that solution is passing new gun laws. But as our Barrett Leone explains, those against amped up gun control say that it could do the opposite. A heated debate is back in center focus Thursday. They can drop all the bills they want. They're not going to work. As the Minnesota Gun Owners Lobby Day returns to the state capitol. The numbers of shootings are disproportionately higher here. It follows a renewed promise from Democrats to pass new gun laws. One of the things you're going to see is we're going to finally tackle this issue around some common sense gun things, making sure we have family members have access to red flag laws, making sure we're doing serious background checks. But those against more gun control call it extreme and unconstitutional and argue it won't help the state's current problem with gun violence. In Minneapolis, people are shooting each other because why? They won't prosecute gun crimes. And that's what the problem is. California has all of these laws and more. They did not stop a determined criminal from committing those atrocities. Now, aside from proposing gun control measures, Governor Walls is also suggesting to ban guns on Capitol property. It's a similar step that St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter is doing following a serious shooting at a rec center there earlier this month. There's just no darn reason that we should have handguns in uh, recreation centers. There's no reason we should have handguns in the state capitol. Those are things that we can do uh, that'll help that. Well, it's important to note that the shooter there was an employee of St. Paul and prohibited by city of St. Paul policy from carrying firearms. So if you ask me, uh, I'd much rather have a firearm on me if I'm going to be at risk of being shot by one of uh, Mayor Melvin Carter's employees. At the state capitol, Barrett Leone, WCCO 4 News. Red flags and expanded background checks have been discussed before but have never passed both chambers at the state capitol.